In this Opus Clip tutorial, I will show you all the features you need to know to make the best clips possible. I'll be breaking down how to make the clips, how to enhance your clips with AI, and I will show you how you can schedule your videos. My name is Dan, I create YouTube videos about all the different kind of AI tools that currently are on the market. If you want to check out my videos, then check out my channel in the description down below. Now let's just dive straight into Opus Clip. So the first thing you do is you can drop in a video link. You can do it through all of these different formats that you have right here. I already have a video that I wanted to use. So I have this video from this creator, which I think will work perfectly in this video. So I'm just going to hit share, then I'm hit copy, and then we're going to drop in the link. Now we're going to click on get free clip and now it will log you in and then you can start working on it. Here we have a few options that we can go through. First of all, we can select the caption language. For me, this will be English. Here you can see how many credits it's using. Then we have a few options in terms of the caption presets. So you have karaoke, you have Beastie, you have Deep Diver, you have Joshua, you have Pop P, Mosey, Simple and you have Think Media. If you want to make it more custom, then you can also go to my templates and here you can make your own template. So I have a template that I really like, which is the one line preset template two that I made, which is basically just a yellow caption, which I think looks pretty clean and perfect for my videos. So now we have the option to only add caption without clipping. This is for those that simply want to use Opus Clip for adding captions to their video. Then we can process the time frame. So let's say you have an intro that you want to cut out and you have an outro that you want to cut out. This way you can save yourself some credits. Moving on, we can select our preferred clip length and here you have a ton of different options. You can just leave it at auto and then it will find the best clips possible for you. This can be a 30 second clip, this can be a 60 second clip or all the way up to three minutes. Now, then you also have the options to do longer than that. So if you are looking for long segments, kind of like what Joe Rogan does with his podcast. So he takes like one podcast and he turns it into like 10 minute segments. Then you can do that also if you select the five to 10 minutes or the 10 to 15 minutes. You can also select multiple. So this way you have multiple different clips. Now for this one, I'm just gonna keep it on auto. And then you have the last option, which is your topic filter by keyword. So here you can select a keyword that you want to have clips about. For example, if you have a certain word that you are using and that you want to have clips for, then you can enter it right there. Now, once you're done with this, you click on get clips in one click. This will take anywhere from like five to 10 minutes. It depends on how busy the server is. So while I'm waiting on this to generate, I'm curious to hear what is your favorite caption template and let me know in the comments down below. If you comment down below, you also get a chance to win free Opus Clip credits. So if you want some free credits, make sure to comment down below. Our videos are now done and we have, let me just check, we have about 24 clips that it has made from this 30 minute video. So let me take a look at some of the clips. We're at a critical moment in history. The impact of artificial intelligence is threatening the livelihood of specialists. So this is a quote that he does. Then we also have something like this. Work is just going more remote, more contract based. And it just makes sense that this is where work is going when AI and technology. So this clip seems pretty good to me. What we can do now is we can enhance it by editing it. You can download it as is. It's already looking very good. But if you want to make it more custom or if you want to implement some B-roll, then you can do so as followed. Here we are in the new editor and there's a ton of features for me to go through. So let me just explain it step by step for you so you understand in the best way possible. On the left hand side we have our transcript and what's great about this transcript is if it has made a mistake you can just double click on it and then you can just change that text. So let's say for example made a mistake then you can just type it right here and you can correct it. Now it hasn't made a mistake right here so that's a bad example but here is your transcript. You can do multiple things with this transcript. So what we can also do is if we click on remote, for example, we can split or trim it at that word. We can add an emoji under that and we can also add some AI B-roll, which I will show you later. Now, besides that, if you want to add in a section, then you can do so if you click on add a section, then you will see the entire transcript of your full video. So that can be a YouTube video, a podcast, whatever you put in there, you will see the entire transcript. Then you can just simply select this text and then you can add it in there. Now, I like the clip as is, but let's say you want to make your clip a little bit longer, then you can do so by adding this in. 
moving on we have the image so this video is a one speaker only so mostly i'm going to use the layout fill but you have all of these different layouts so you can choose between layout fit split three or four so if you have two speakers you can put two speakers on the screen if you have three of them or four of them you can do so as well but this will be layout fit if you double click on the image then you can select and you can move around the crop so I'm just going to put it a little bit more on his head instead of a little bit to the left. So I'm just going to do it like this. And now our video is much more in the center. Then on the right hand side, we have a few options. So here you can see that I'm using a modified template. If you want to change your template, then you can rename the template and then you can make changes to it. And then you can save your template as well. Now let me show you the clip layout settings. So here we have our aspect ratio. So right now it's at 9 by 16. Most people will just leave this in 9 by 16. But if you're the one that wants to post this on LinkedIn. Or if you want to post it on YouTube as like a short. Or if you want to post as a 16 by 9 video. Then you can do so by changing the aspect ratio. Now moving on to the captions. We have a ton of different options right here. We can select a preset. So we have any of these presets to choose from then we can change how many lines we have in our page so for example we can do three lines then you can see we have three lines personally i like one line the most then you can change the position so you can do top middle or bottom and for this video i like to have the bottom perspective and then we can select if we want to add in an animation so we can do a bounce animation let me just play this for you So we can see it's a little bit animated. Then we can do underline as well. And it just makes sense. Now for this video, I like to keep it at no animation at all because I just want to focus on his message and I don't want to have too much distraction with the caption. But if you want to have good caption animation, you can do so right here. Now then we can change the font. You can do to any font that you'd like. You can do, for example, the Sora font. You can do Babel's Noi. You can do any of these fonts that you like. Next up, we can change if you want to make it like bold or if you want to make it light or thin. You can do some right here. You can change the color, the sizing. You can change like the font case if you want to have it all uppercase or as typed. And then you can also add in a stroke. You can add in shadows. And you can also have the AI keyword highlighter turned on. So now if you want to change the highlight color, then you can do so right here. So I want to make it a bit more yellow. And I'm just going to copy this. So we have to... Oh wait. So now I've made the highlight color all yellow. So you can see these highlights are yellow. And in this section you can see so. If you want to add in a logo, you can do so right here. You can simply upload it. And then you will have your logo wherever you have placed it. Um, it's a static overlay basically. So you can use it that way. The last option that you have is to add in some emojis. And the emojis you will see if you turn them on. They will automatically be added. So here we can see that at the word digital, we have an emoji of someone sitting behind a screen. We have someone with a bag of money. And basically, if you don't like these emojis, you can just click on them. Then you click on the emoji button and then here you can select any emoji that you'd like. So that is mostly the caption editing and making your clip look better. But speaking of making your clip look better, you can make it look even better if you add in some AI B-roll. You have a few options. You can generate it from stock B-roll or you can generate AI generated B-roll. So I'm just going to do AI generated. And now this usually takes like a minute and then your footage will be right there. So let me just show you. So here we have our AI B-roll. If I just click on it, you can see that I can drag it around to move it to any position I'd like. Oh, I can also make it shorter or longer, whatever I like. And then let me just take a look at this B-roll. So you can see this is the prompt that they have used. Here we have a realistic photo of a modern home office setup. Looks pretty good. If we check with the transcript, then we can see work is just going to be more remote, more contract based. So that makes sense. This B-roll makes sense. Now, this is how it looks like. Work is just going more remote, more contract based. And so, yeah, there is already like a zoom in edit in there. So that's pretty good. You can also change around with this prompt. So you can change the style. So you can do it pop art or surreal, or you can make it photorealistic. Then let's take a look at the other B-roll. So that's going to be on the word. So this is going to be on the word digital products can be built and distributed at a low marginal cost. Digital products can be built and distributed at low marginal cost. So this B-roll doesn't make that much sense to me, but what we can do here is we can just change it. A digital product 
on a laptop. Here we have four options and this one looks the best to me. So now we have something that makes a bit more sense. Now, if you for whatever reason want to cut your clip, then you can do so by using the split function. Then you can clip on another part and you can just simply remove this with the back key and then that section will be removed. But obviously I like the clip as is, so I'm just gonna save it. But that's just to show you how you can make changes to your clip. Once you're done with your video and you like it, then you click on save changes and now it will re-render out your video. And this will take like a minute and this will be done pretty fast. So that is basically how you use Opus Clip to make clips of your videos. And then you can also edit them even further. Now let me show you how you can schedule your clips. So Opus Clip kind of becomes like your all-in-one tool for scheduling out your short form content and also some other content as well. So what we do here with the clips that we have generated, what we can do is we can click on the share button. Then we can share to our account. So you can add your accounts right here. You can add YouTube, TikTok, TikTok inbox, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Here you can simply enter in your title and then you can enter in your description. Now you can choose if you want to make it public immediately, private or enlisted. So just go, let's go with public. Then we can select when we want to publish it. So it's right now on now, but you can also change it to any other date that you'd like. Besides this, we also have the calendar view, which is a lot easier to work with. So here you have your calendar. What you can do is you can plan content ahead. If you click on the plus icon, then you can select the video that you want to have the clips from. So I'm going to do this one. Then you can select the clips that you have made. So let's do this one. Then here we select this clip. And here we pretty much have the same process. First, you add all of your accounts, then you select your account, then you change your title and you change your description or you leave it like this. This is all generated with Opus Clip, which is pretty good. And then you can change the time and when you're posting it. So right now we are on the 24th of June and we can post it at whatever hour we'd like. So let's, for example, do 10 p.m. And now we can hit schedule. So now our video will be automatically posted through Opus Clip through their scheduler. You can fill out your entire calendar using Opus Clip. If you don't want to use the scheduler, then you can also just download your clips right here or you can download them to Premiere Pro. This will be exported as like an XML file, which you can edit further in Adobe Premiere. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out the video that's on the screen right now for more Opus Clip related content.